Buck TV. Woo! Off. Is it Jaron Jones or is it Steven Gerrard? It's 1-1. One, one. It's 1-1. One, one. Come on, then. Jaron Jones with a great finish to put Buck United back in it. Ladies and gentlemen, Buck has scored his first goal for the club. It is 2-1. We now have the lead. A little bit of a toe poke right there. We'll take it. Jaron Jones with a beautiful ball. Finds me back post. It is 3-1. And Buck United does end up winning this game 3-2. So after two weeks of games, Buck United is 2-0, United FC falls to 0-2, and Red Rock FC falls to 0-2. Remember that we only need to beat one of these teams in order to make it into the playoff, so we are doing very well right now. Our starting lineup for match three features Victor Sanchez in the net, Sam Pagel at right back, Sean Burke and Alex Little holding it down as the two center backs, Colton Ketterer playing a new position at left back today. Shea Connors also playing a new role for us at the left mid. Dylan Moore is back and will be playing the CDM. Eric Ontriveros on the right side. Callan in the center attacking mid his first game for the club. And Anthony Shivers and myself up top. It is match day three, a rematch between Buck United and United FC. Shivers plays the ball to myself and I knock it wide and we are underway. United FC does have a goal kick here. We are showing a little bit of weakness in the back. Alex Little gets a touch, and they are through, and Sam Pagel does well to clear that to the feet of Sean Burke, and we do escape an early mistake. Here, Colton Ketterer does play the ball to Mr. Callan. Oh, Jeff, that's a Meg. I had to throw it in there. I had to. Here, Colton Ketterer plays the ball to myself. I knock it wide to Shea Connors. Shea Connors, composed, plays it into Anthony Shivers. Goes for the quick turn in the shot. Unlucky to put it right at the goalkeeper. We're getting a few opportunities early, which is nice here I think I do go for the nutmeg. It doesn't end up working out. Shea plays the ball to Callan Callan using his strength his first game for the club puts it unfortunately right at the goalkeeper again here United does try to roll it out Eric on does well to get onto it I end up having the ball here play it out wide to Eric Eric gets in a little bit of a scuffle goes for a back heel and Callan has a great opportunity but cannot apply just enough power on that one to make it anything dangerous, unfortunately. Colton has the ball here, plays it to Dylan Moore. Dylan finds the feet of Callan. He's taken down, but it was not a penalty. Brian Drew does take a shot, falls to Eric, and, and Eric is unable to convert it. Here, Shea Connors plays it back to Colton Ketterer. Colton Ketterer taking a shot, but we keep just putting all of these at the goalkeeper, unfortunately. Eric Ontriveros applies the pressure here. He does play it over our back line's head, but Sean Burke is able to win it back. Really, really composed center back. He's great to have on the team. United has a throw in here. They play it to their number 11, who's probably the best player on their team. He slips a little bit, but does get the pass off. They're able to play it on over to their number four. He takes a shot and it does end up going wide. Here, Sean Burke gets the ball, plays it to Dylan Moore. Dylan Moore lays it back to Sean Burke, finds the feet of Shea Connors. Shea Connors making his way downtown, walking fast, faces past, and he's homebound. Tries to find Anthony Shivers. Anthony Shivers goes for a cut here, but is unlucky not to beat their center back, and they do end up clearing it. Here, they do have a little bit of danger, or apply a little bit of danger for us. Tony, a guy that I used to play with, does get a shot off, but Colton and I believe Dylan had applied enough pressure there that it's an easy pickup for Victor Sanchez. Here to their number 11 again, finds the ball out to Tony. Tony has two defenders on him, I believe. You can't see because Beaver's camera angle right now, but it's A-OK. -okay. Lays it back to their number 10, and he takes an absolute rip, and we do end up going down 1-0. I don't think... We've gotten the first goal this entire season, which is unfortunate. So we're used to the comeback. We're thinking nothing of it. We just need to find our rhythm, and hopefully we will get it all sorted. Here they do try to find who I thought was playing center back is now a forward, but halftime whistle is blown there. So the second half is underway. Callum gets the ball here, plays it to myself. I take it up the field a couple yards, play it to Anthony Shivers. Anthony Shivers tries to beat a defender, but is unfortunate and the ball is taken away from him. Here, United does get the ball back. Brian Drew, showing his speed, does well to go ahead and win us the throw-in. United has the ball here. I'm applying the pressure. 
they do play it to the, what they're attempting to play it to their right mid but we are able to step and get it I play the ball wide to Colton Ketterer Colton Ketterer decides to switch the field plays it on over to Eric Ontriveros Eric Ontriveros takes a touch plays it inside but we are unable to get on the end of it and United does end up clearing it here their number 10 tries to play it up to their big guy I am able to get a little bit of flexion Callan is able to get up I'm not playing the best ball of my life right here, but it does get over, finds the feet of Eric. Eric takes a few touches. I think he's trying to square up a shot. Dylan Moore plays it to Anthony Shivers. Anthony Shivers trying to take another quick shot again, but ends up rolling over. Here, a United FC midfielder does try to play it over the top. Brian Drew, once again, showing his speed. He's unbelievably quick. Takes a look up and sees that Callan is actually going through. Their left back is unfortunate and does end up playing it back. Callan Little with a little touch over and he is completely through. One on one and ends up hitting the post. And that is an opportunity that we have to take advantage of. And it's unfortunate that Callan could not get his first goal for the club right there. Here it goes to their left back. He is able to play it through. We did think he was offside, but Victor Sanchez does make a great save to keep us in this game in the 55th minute. Here, their number 11 has the ball, tries to play it through. I don't know where he's necessarily going with that one. Dylan Moore with a great touch, plays it over here to Callan. Callan knocks it back to Dylan. Dylan plays it through to Anthony Shivers, who does play it to Eric Ontriveros. Eric Ontriveros is very quick, beats one of their defenders. I think he looked back to try to find me, but it does end up going out for a corner. I play this corner in and it's to Mick Pagel. Mick Pagel takes a shot, it's saved by the goalie. Shivers takes a shot, it's saved. Lays it back again, the keeper makes a save, and it does end up hitting the post for the second time this half already. I think Beaver might have missed something, but there's a little bit of miscommunication. Two of our players ran into each other, and they're able to take a 2-0 lead there, which is very unfortunate. With 10 minutes left, we knew we had to act quick. We had to make something happen. Colton gets a little bit of a mega FC right there. It falls to the feet of Eric Ontriveros, takes his time, plays this across to Anthony Shivers. I control it with my right thigh, tap it in with the left, and we got one back with 10 minutes remaining. Not quite sure what happened with our GoPro, but you can still see it pretty clearly here. Just a composed finish. I was lucky to get that one in my third goal for the club. Here the ball does fall to Anthony Shivers, goes back to Colton. Colton takes a shot, and it goes over in the 85th minute. Sean Burke has the ball, plays it to Anthony Shivers. Anthony Shivers beats one defender. It falls to me. I get the ball back here. I believe I try to take it down the line to find the cross for somebody inside. I lay it back to Callan. I don't know if Callan was going for a cross there or a shot, but it's unfortunate. Their goalkeeper slips and falls, and we are able to keep possession. You can't see it right now, but it goes to Dylan Moore. Dylan Moore beats one defender and gets fouled. I know the other team thought that this one was a little bit controversial, but Dylan Moore puts it down quickly, plays it across, it goes off of one of their defender's heads, falls to Shivers, Shivers takes the shot, and it hits off the crossbar in the 85th minute. Here, Callan wins the ball back, plays it to Shivers. Callan is through, takes a shot, and the keeper makes a fantastic save. Just so many shots are flying in here in the last few minutes of the game as we are trying to make sure we don't take the first loss for the club. Schomburg plays it to Anthony Shivers, and Eric Ontriveros has an unbelievable chance, but puts it over. I think if he would have gone for his head, or maybe even just used the bottom of his boot to put that one in, we would have had it here. A very controversial call as they call me offside when I literally started five yards behind that other guy. Um, I gave up on the play once the whistle was blown, or that could have been it. Whistle is blown, and we end up losing our first game. Colton Ketterer. We took our first loss today. What do you think happened? Uh, first of all, hot as ball sack out in here uh, in Arizona. Uh, down about a few players. Uh, the boys were gassed, but uh, next week's our week. Still at the top of the bracket. Uh, not worrying it at all. Did it feel any different today than it did on the prior game against Red Rock? Uh, I pretty much had to carry the team. That was the only difference. Um, missing the Joneses. Didn't have any bullets today, but... Uh, no, no, nothing much. Didn't move the ball too well in the middle, but uh, we got next week. Predictions for the rest of the season? Uh, I'll have a hat trick following each of these games, um, and I will uh, celebrate very obnoxiously if I do score. Watch out for that. 
You want to give us a little uh, breakdown of the team's performance and your performance in today's game? I mean, I thought we played well, to be completely honest. Uh, we had we created the most opportunities. We had a lot of opportunities in the first half, a whole lot of opportunities in the second half. Um, I personally think I could have played better. I was lucky to get a goal today. I'm happy about that. Hopefully we're still in first place for the Golden Boot. Um, but we will, uh, I don't know. There's definitely, there's positives to take away from this, and I think there's negatives as well. We are missing a lot of key players. We're missing the Aaron Storfs, the Jones, um, Bettner, Toder, which are all big players for our team. And I think if we were full strength today, that's an easy victory. How, how's the future looking? How are the next upcoming games? What, what are we looking like in the standings? Uh, we're still in first place, which is awesome. I mean, regardless of whatever happened, Red Rock and this team both had two losses. So um, we still control our own destiny. Red Rock looked like a completely different team today. When you play in like a standard Saturday men's league, you usually see the other teams playing next to you as well. So um, Red Rock looked a lot younger, a lot more fit. And I, uh, I think the next game is going to be a really tough one. I hope that we don't have a big vacation day again for our team. Any, anything Beaver can improve. Uh, the camera angles looked a little shaky. Uh, we could have had a little higher depth. Anything, anything there we can raise. I mean, playing in East Mesa today, we did end up. Okay, he's got the mic now. Jesus Christ. <laughs> um, playing in East Mesa today, we actually got him up at a higher angle. I know that's comments on YouTube have been su suggesting that, but uh, I mean, I think Beaver's he's doing well. He's doing his job. If at any point we go up. 5-6-0 this season. I anticipate that he's going to make his way onto the field. Um, if this video gets 500 likes, we will put Beaver in at some point this season on the field. So, GG. Um, Beaver, anything to say? GG, yeah, you know, if you'd have put me in today, I would have um, maybe got that second goal, but um, well, we'll just see. Go Buck United. Go Buck United. Shout out to all good dads out there. <laughs> If you guys enjoyed the video, leave a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new around here. See you next time.